In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your embedded live stream player with BoxCast Sites. Let's dive right in. Once you log into the BoxCast dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to go to the top left corner to access the Sites dashboard. Now I'm gonna click on Edit to show you how to put the live stream player directly on the site. So to start, we're gonna click on Widgets, and we actually wanna add a column, um, a one row column right below our main message, which gives us the ability to just drop a widget right in there. So now if I click on widgets again, you'll see I already have the BoxCast player here. So once I drop it in, all my services and everything that I already have will just show up. Now there's a lot of customization you can do from here just by clicking on the player. And if we click on design, you'll see it starts out as player only, but we're gonna actually do the full featured player that shows all our related videos and whatnot. So now if we go down to styles, you can see you can adjust the padding so you can make it a little smaller or a little bigger. And also one thing we learned from this, which is really, really helpful, is you can move this design box around a little bit so you can see the changes you're making. So now let's change the background color. I'm going to change it to actually this orange. And I'm gonna make this player kind of pop for you guys. I don't know if this is what you would do exactly, but this is how I wanna make it. So I'm gonna change it to orange. You can also uh, give it any color you want or put in a hex code, which is really nice. Uh, I'm gonna change the text color to white. And then I'm also gonna give it a little bit of a border and I'm gonna make the border white as well. And then I really like actually giving it rounded corners. So I'm gonna go rounded corners to 10 points and we're gonna back out of there. And then now I can actually change the broadcast title and description or basically change the fonts. So as you can see, I'm gonna move my design player over and you'll see it says Sunday night service here. I can change this to whatever font I would like in here. I actually do kind of like the rock salt font and I'm gonna move it towards the middle. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger. And then you can change your broadcast description if you have one. So I'm gonna make this a little bit different. I'll make this Roboto. I don't have a description right now, but it would change in there. And then if we scroll up, next out of here, I'm gonna go into my related videos, which you'll see over here. You can make these as big or small as you want. So by moving this forward, they get really, really big, which you don't wanna make it that big or you can make it fit perfectly inside of the box here. Now, one thing that I wanna do as well is I actually wanna change the background color of this column or row. So when I click here and click on edit, I wanna to go to background color and I actually wanna make it kind of like a grayish charcoal black here. Yeah, so I really like how that's looking. That pops really, really well. And um, if you wanted to change your related videos text, that's just as easy as going to theme and it's gonna be header three. So let's just say you don't like this rock salt one for the right side where your related videos are. Let's just say we change it to work sand, something more simple, something more basic. And once I exit out of here, you'll see that's how I customized my players. So the last thing I wanna show you, which I think is actually the coolest thing you can do with the new player, is how it animates into your site when someone's scrolling on. So if we jump back into the sites builder, I'm gonna click here, we go to design, and we scroll down and we select animation, you'll see that you can do by entrance, so when someone scrolls by, or by scroll. So I'm gonna do scroll and then I'm gonna do fade. And then you'll see when we preview our website now, and we scroll up here, as we scroll down, it fades in really nicely. And I really, really like that. Now you can do some other crazy funky ones too. Um, again, maybe this is more your style, but if we go back to animations and we go to, let's say, rotate in. This one's kind of crazy, but it's fun to look at. So go to preview, you scroll up, and it rotates in. So that's just a couple of the animations you can do. Obviously, I'm gonna go back and change it to fade, but I really like that. So once you're happy with your embedded player, all you have to do is hit publish so it goes live on your website. And that's how you customize your embedded player on your website. Now, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our technical support team at questions at and they would be happy to help.